love, justice, respect, equality, kindness, compassion, equal in dignity, and rights. Hello and welcome to Equal in Dignity and Rights by the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights, home of the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial. Today, you'll be introduced to another person of influence whose words are also etched into the stone of the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial. At the end of this video, we'll prompt you with a few questions that will get you started in today's virtual journal entry. Remember, there is no right or wrong answer to what you write. You are human equal in dignity and rights. Margaret Mead is one of the most celebrated anthropologists in the world. An anthropologist is someone who studies humans by researching and observing human social behavior, cultural behavior, and history. Margaret Mead was born December 16, 1901, and passed November 15th. 1978 at age 76 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her interest in studying human behavior might have come from her mother, who was a sociologist and studied Italian immigrants. Margaret was educated at Barnard College and earned her master's and PhD at Columbia University in New York City. It was while pursuing her degrees at Columbia that Mead engaged in research that brought her to the forefront of Western attention. Her fieldwork in American Samoa and the observations she brought back to the Western world sent shockwaves through popular science at the time and significantly impacted how Americans began to think about culture and biology. At the age of 27, her work was profiled in her book, Coming of Age in Samoa. In the 1920s behavioral science world, there was a strong push for the belief that the biology of individuals determined their path in life. These ideas were often used to fix large groups of people into unchanging boxes that were drawn along the lines of race and national origin. This way of using race or biology to predict someone's intelligence and relative sophistication was used to justify racism and anti-Semitism at the time. Mead and many of her academic contemporaries followed the notion that people's intelligence wasn't about their race, but rather about how they were socialized into the world. She believed and shared through her research that culture was a determining factor rather than race. This encouraged the belief that anyone could learn and grow. Margaret Mead also began to shift Western thought about gender roles in society. She discovered through her research in American Samoa that Samoan culture was much more fluid and that the gender roles were not as strict as the Western world previously believed. Her research was used as one of the cornerstones of the women's movement in the 1960s and 1970s. Mead's writings presented societies in which women and girls had much more comfort, freedom, and agency. She contended that all humans can learn from one another regardless of gender. Mead went on to write many books and journal commentary throughout the 1940s, 50s, and 60s while she worked as a curator at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Throughout her life, Mead became a prominent speaker on women's issues, anti-racism, and the acceptance of the diversity of the human journey, using her research in anthropology to support her theory. She was featured as a guest on television programs, consulted as an expert in the sciences, and quoted by politicians and activists around the world. Mead was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom after her death. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Margaret Mead
Now it's your turn. No need to wait a single moment. Through the Schoology portal, we've left a space for you to record your thoughts. You may want to pause the video after each question to give yourself some time to write. There are a total of three questions. Here are the questions to help get you started. Margaret Mead taught us how to view cultures different from our own as not inferior, merely different. What is one world culture that you would like to study to better understand? What do you already know about that culture? Share a few aspects of your own culture that you think would help people to better understand you. How can studying other cultures help us to develop an awareness of human rights? Take your time. Remember, this is your journal, your diary. You can be honest with your thoughts. Just as Margaret Mead teaches us through her work, never forget how we can positively change the world when we are all equal in dignity and rights.